YouTube, your boy is back again with that oh so important aquarium talk. Today we're going to discuss about five do's, five don'ts that people do and don't do when they get into this hobby. Basically, five do's, five don'ts of when you start now in this hobby. So remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk about these do's. First do I'm going to say is going to be some patience. This is a hobby of patience. It is so... Im I was a person that was very impatient. I'll probably give all the patience I've learned in my later years to this tank. Basically, what I mean when I say patience in this hobby nothing in this hobby happens overnight only bad things you will wake up in the morning and your whole tank has turned to crap but you're not gonna wake up in the morning and everything that was crap is looking beautiful so you have to be patient it's gonna take time whatever things is going wrong you gotta wait it out you have to you you know to stay focused on what you wish to accomplish but it's a hobby that's going to teach you patience if you don't have patience you're going to leave as fast as you enter so just know that's something that you must you must be willing to to get a grip of and that is patience patience is virtue especially when it comes to reefing Another do that we want to take part of in this hobby is the research aspect. Research what you want, research what you plan to accomplish, research what, what your, your goal or your destination in this hobby is going to be. If you want to have a reef tank with corals or something like that, you got to research that. You got to know you can't do certain things like put certain type of fish certain type of you know organism into a reef tank because you're gonna have an issue with it so that falls on the research knowing what you want research it so when you hit that when you hit the gate running you're running in the right direction you're going straight down to that finish line not off to the right off to the left calling this is going wrong, this is going right, because you took that old soul mistake or that step of researching what you wanted to accomplish as your ultimate end goal. So research will be the next do. One more do, I'm gonna put it as, you know, um, like limitations. You're getting into this hobby, they say bigger is better in this hobby. But if you're you're working two job, you just bought you just bought a house, you figure, you know what, I want to have a tank in the man cave, and you put a 500 gallon, know that that 500 gallon is gonna be a lot more work than a simple 55 all-in-one of a 60 gallon all-in-one tank. So you gotta know your limitation, what you can handle, what you can manage. Because bigger is better, yes. Because you got a 500 gallon and your son or your daughter throw some candy in there in 500 gallons of water, nothing may happen. In your small 20 gallon tank, you may have an issue. But also, knowing mixing 20% water change in a 500 gallon tank, is going to be a lot more than running out to your local reef store and buying five gallon of Nutrisy water and boom, throwing it in. And water change is done one, two, three. So definitely know your limitations and what you can handle, what you have time for, what you can afford. So that will be another do. One more 
do we have in this hobby is these tanks become uh, like uh, what do you call it? It becomes something very pretty, you know, in our living room, a, a focal point. So we find this beautiful spot and we're like, I can see the tank, that's where I want it. But it's very important to know that tank is where it's gonna be easy for you to service the tank. That tank gotta be in a spot where you know in the middle of the day is not bombarded by light coming through the window because yes, our significant other have these beautiful house plants that the windows and the shades and everything gotta go up so these plants get light. And if the plants get light and your tank is getting light, you're gonna have a problem. So you must, you need a proper placement for this tank. Some place out of direct sunlight, some place where you can enjoy it, some place that makes it easy for it to work on. Because if it's easy to work on, you will work on it and you will take care of it better. Another, another thing I see a lot in this hobby that I tend to disagree with is something that I, that I, that I commented on another one of my video is you got to start off small when I say small not the limitation aspect of, of a small tank but small as in the amount of work you 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 wished you wish to do you don't want to get overwhelmed in the first six months of this hobby so when i say small start off a few fish a few corals after your tank been cycled maintain that learn how to take care of that learn how to how to how to get that going where you want it then you steadily add because it's you don't want to come to my house and see this and go home thinking i want that because this didn't happen overnight. You understand? So, you want to start off small. This is a hobby of upgrading. So, as we, we start with small tanks and we get bigger and all that stuff. Also, not so much the tank, but what you put in the tank, how much work you wish to do, how crazy you wish to, 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 to get into it. That's, that's the small I'm talking about, you know easy something nice not too much work develop that great obsession for, for, for this hobby I always tell people you can't love this hobby you got to be obsessed with it because when you're obsessed with something you won't stop if you just love it you will fall out of love with it within a year that's why there's so much use equipment on forums there's so much people getting out of the hobby because they like or they love it they're not obsessed with it so start small that's another do that you know I think is very important that you know we don't get overwhelmed with the hobby to where we're like oh man you know with two three kids the house the wife the girlfriend I can't do this no more so get something manageable few fish few corals and then you go from there so I'll be back with some don'ts that we may want to look into when we're getting into this hobby. okay you too let's talk about those don'ts when in all reactionality we kind of hinted on some of those don'ts in our, our do's because you know it was a little bit of do this because of that and so we kind of hinted on those don'ts but a big don't don't have unrealistic expectations you 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 can't expect you can't expect to put in to, to I would I used to coin a phrase you can't drink champagne from Kool-Aid money. So you can't have these overwhelming expectations. That's not re realistic. You, whatever you put in this hobby, that's what you're gonna, you're gonna get out of it. 
you're not gonna buy a frag this big and think like oh it's taken too long to grow i've had it a week i've had it a month i don't see i don't see this and i don't see that 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 falls on a lot of the patience that we talk about like you know you do have to have that patience so you can't have unrealistic expectation these tanks go to periods of ups and periods of of downs so just know that you know it's not it's not gonna be overnight and it's not you're not gonna get a colony the size of a basketball in a month it's it's, it's not gonna happen you know what I mean so have realistic expectations in this hobby another thing you should not do which will if you're not gonna do it it will be a don't don't go overboard you're starting off in the hobby and you're like I'm just gonna throw 30 grand into it if you can afford it hey that's fine but I think it's going overboard like I said before it's a hobby of upgrade you know st start off get a get a hold get a grasp of what you're doing learn the hobby and then you can say all right I'm ready to go bigger or now I'm ready to get into the SPS I'm ready to get into more expensive quotes there's some of these things that goes for hundreds of dollars for something like one inch big depending on the rarity of it you know what I mean so basically what I'm trying to say is different levels to this hobby as you learn more and you you get more a hold of what you're doing you will definitely be upgrading you will definitely be getting a lot more of the expensive stuff you know as time goes on so you know in the beginning don't go overboard just just do enough to get a grip on the hobby and from from you get that grip everything else will fall in line one more thing that's very important in the don't and that's not so much when you first first start when you first start you know you got your your four to six week two month period by where you're just learning this the tank cycle but during that period you're going to find that you're going to be needing to test these tanks to know when those levels have zeroed back out or your nitrate and stuff like that has fallen back down but very important after that and for the rest of the time you have that tank don't skip your testing very important in this hobby I will advise testing at least twice a week if everything is going good if you're having any issue with high levels or low levels I will say test every other day until you get that problem rectified then you could go back to like your twice a week testing understand I test at least three times a week least sometime more but do not skip testing your tank another don't is switching stuff when you get into the hobby you're gonna have this level of you want to visit different stores you want to dis visit different reefers tank you're gonna see a lot of different things don't come home this side I want to have I want to have what he has and then go to somebody else. I want to have what they have and the first thing we we do when we try to figure out what they got is that also important question what are you dosing what are you using and they say, oh, I'm using this we run home we want to start using that but we were using this we want to switch we switch we're not liking what we see we see somebody else with something else what are you using 
they using this you using that and you're constantly switching around the problem with this hobby is as I said nothing happens fast overnight so if you're switching every month or every two months that may not be a long enough period for that product that you have switched to to work or even your original product when you start off to work so don't go around switching up things give everything it's time to dial in and if you switch one switch at a time if you're changing saw change the saw give yourself a few months then you find out it was the salt then you can switch the trace elements and stuff like that don't switch 15 different things at one time because now you're like which one of the 15 really work you know what I mean so it's very very important to stay steady stay consistent stay straight and with that said remember to like subscribe hit that notification bell check out the YouTube channel check out the Instagram page check out the Facebook links check check every one of my social media platform I got Dane running it right now I don't even know what I got but he's running it he's doing a great job so thank you and I'm out of here